Have you used um, Leonardo before? Oh, no. What I think? No. Is All that right. an AI? Is it? Yeah, it is AI. So let me show you Leonardo and yeah. um, show you a few different things from that. So, yeah, so this is Leonardo. That's mm -hmm. what it's like when you get in. So it's leonardo.ai is the, the web address. And what you can do in Leonardo, right? So what you see there now at the, at the top are what they call their featured models. And, you know, they've got a whole heap of those. Um, and they're different models that you can use to create things, okay? So um, with different styles, okay? So, you know, there's, there's quite a few there. And there's, there's actually way more models than that because some people are training their own models. Down the, then um, these are recent creations that people have done. So, you know, you can actually get a bit of an idea of what's going on and you can see, hey, people like creating lots of, um, lots of girls and stuff like that. Um, religious iconography turns up there quite a bit as well, as does the sticker animals and so on. They seem to be quite, quite frequent. Jesus walking on water. Um, so, and then, you know, all sorts of things. So they're the sorts of images that can be created here. Now, if you have a free account, on your free account, you'll get like 100 credits a day. So let me show you the kinds of things. So that's the home. There's a community feed, but here's my personal feed. So these are the images that I've been creating. Mm -hmm. And so I created this, these images here because I was looking to create an avatar for a chatbot mm -hmm. I created. So I'll talk about the chatbot later. But it's it's like, okay, I was after a English professor, but rather than going the standard stereotype looking like this, I thought, no, I will have an English professor who looks like a lady. So there we go. Um, and there's all sorts now down here was the earlier versions of that i didn't like that then down here i'm looking for the fires wise and fire foolish but in the end i didn't end up using any of those images down here i kind of like these images um, that you see there and so on so you know there's a whole heap here and mm -hmm. this was for a couple's workshop and i was just looking for couples doing different things but all in the same sort of art style so that I have this theme of color run through my presentation. So oh, I'm creating nice. images. So there's there's all sorts of styles there. And I wanted family shots because I was doing family worship. So, you know, there's this kids praying and families praying. Some of those are not quite the images that I'd want to use um, and so on. And then I'm looking at different kinds of images of family and so on. So, you know, there's, there's all sorts of things that can be done in that space. Um, couples having worship together um, was what I was trying to go for there. Um, couples being really close and intimate, but in a certain style because, you know, again, it's adding color and interest to people as they see this. So, you know, there's that. And then I thought, well, I could do it in that style. Or I could do it in watercolor. So again, here I've tried recreating these in watercolor, families getting close, praying. Um, I like this one over here, so, you know, to see that a little more up close, it's actually really, that's a nice image, right? Of a couple just spending time in prayer together. So, and the watercolor really effective, that really worked for me. So I really liked that image. Mm. And the prompt is really simple. The prompt is just this bit here, couple worshiping in prayer in style of vivid watercolor. That's what that was. So that was kind of nice. Um, the resolution is it's, it's um, 1024 by 768. So that works well for screen images yep. um, and on it goes, you know, um, some of these images here were kind of like fails. I don't know what this couple here are doing. That's kind of like weird. Um, this one here on the couch, not, not this one up here at the top, but this one, not that one, but the next one, um, that's kind of like, yeah, I don't know. But this one here, I kind of like that was, that was kind of nice, had a real intimacy, intimate kind of feel to it. And the colors kind of worked for me. And so this was couple praying, sitting in partner's lap on couch in style of C215. Um, C215 is kind of interesting. So let me show you a little bit about how to get those style, different color styles, and you'll see why this matters in a minute. So Leonardo is one of the AIs that's out there. You've probably heard of Mid Journey. So Mid Journey has um, libraries and style libraries and stuff. So, you know, 
there's all their styles, there's their street artists, if we go back to all the categories, you can see all the different styles that are there, right? Um, architects and so on. Now, personally, I like, I like the street arts because I think it gives a bit of a real earthy, urban kind of feel. So, you know, there's C215 that I mentioned. So I've used that style. I've used Banksy style, which is kind of fun to mess around with um, and so on. So, you know, you can look down through that and you can think, okay, um, Hopari, that's kind of interesting. So, you know, if I, if I wanted to create something in that style, I would just say, all right, well, I'm going to copy that, Hopari, so I remember the name. I go back over here to Leonardo. Now, Leonardo is not mid-journey, but I kind of figured that they might know the same styles, and it turns out they generally do. So, I, so now I want to create my own. So I go down here to AI image generation, and it's like, okay, so what do we want to create an image of? So give me something you want an image of. Hmm. Image of a plane. My son likes planes. Okay, so an aeroplane? Yeah. Okay. A fighter jet. A fighter jet. Yep. A fighter jet um, in style of, well, why don't we just do this in, we'll do this in, um, in uh, photo realistic, flying through, um, lightning storm okay we'll see what happens and we'll set the parameters here so it's set for wide kind of screen there 1024 768 and mm -hmm. we can change the model here to you know absolute reality i like the sdxl that's the one i've been using most at the moment but um you know Leonardo Diffusion, Stable Diffusion, they're all interesting models, so they work slightly differently, but we'll just see what this produces. Any kind of fighter jet? Oh, the S, uh, Thunderbird. Oh, the Thunderbird. But, I mean, the S-71 uh, Blackbird. Oh, the SR? Yeah. 71 Blackbird. Blackbird. Yeah fighter jet in photorealistic flying through lightning storm yeah okay yeah. all right we'll see what happens and while it's producing that i will say um now we might put that in style of yeah. hopari and we'll produce another set so now let's have a look at those it's like oh wow is that looking like the thunderbird i mean uh, no the uh, not the blackbird bird yeah similar so, yeah that looks better that looks better. yeah wow and it's been hit by lightning so i'll i'll send these through to you via email so you can share them with your <laughs> yeah cartoonish but... yeah they're not bad though yeah 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 Absolutely, they're not bad. Considering the time it took for it to generate it. Yeah, and now we've got these here, which is in a different style. Mm -hmm. So now, now it's actually adding some artworks and things to them, right? Yeah. And the aircraft is now looking decidedly different to the aircraft the way it was. Mm -hmm. um, it's got some body works on it. So that's not bad, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. Considering, like I said, the time it took for it to generate. That's right. So now, but let's suppose though that you want to do something really different. So we'll take all of that out. And mm. it's like you want to do a, um, a, well, we'll go with your businessman, a businessman um, stressed in style of that. And we'll see what that does. I don't know what Hopari is. We've got a, what was Hopari again while it's doing that? Hopari was this. So, oh, businessman. Well, why don't we go business woman? And we'll see what that does as well. And compare the two. So there's the man, right? So definitely that's the Hopari effect right there, okay? Kind of interesting, right? And we'll see what the woman, what's happened to the woman. She'll appear any second now. And there we go. Ah, that's this is kind of looking nice, stressed images, right? So if you're doing a presentation 
on stress management, you might want to, yeah. and the thing is, you can do a whole series now that's actually in the same style. You can put that as your PowerPoint for your sermon. Totally you can. And you can, and the images are, are really interesting. Now, what I will say as well, is sometimes you want to add a negative prompt. So type in what you don't want to see in the image. So you don't want to see um, disfigurement. Yeah. So you don't want any disfigurement. Maybe you don't want um, fat lips. <laughs> right? Or well, lips, not slips. So, you know, you don't want fat lips. You just, whatever. Because sometimes I've seen some of the images that I've created have just been lips that have been like, whoa. <laughs> and no one's got lips like that. Right? <laughs> um, or um, two heads. <laughs> or, um, you know, and you get the idea. So, yeah. you know, and sometimes, you know, if we go back out to the um, to the public feed, you can actually see in that, um, that in the public feed, there's a real sense in which um, some people really go all out in creating negative prompts. And one of the things that you will want to do is if you're using and learning how to use Leonardo, is you want to go into the community feed and you'll want to actually see an image and go, huh, how did they create, well, how did they create her, right? This mid shot of a beautiful woman. So that's the prompt that they've used to create that. Okay. All right. Yep. If we took that and reused that, well, we can actually click here and say, well, we want to use this prompt and to regenerate our own. Um, so there it is. There's there's all of the, the same prompt. Anyway, we you know you can generate with that. We can do that in Victorian age and in style of style of C two one five and Hopari, right? So we'll blend it with styles. So you can do all of that as well and just see what happens. So now yeah. we're, we've got quite a few in the pipeline, and you'll notice here what it will actually say is when I go to generate, this will use 20 tokens. So if you have a free account with your free account, you will get 100 tokens per day and you'll use 20 to make a set of four. So you can do that maybe five times. Now, if you create your size to be smaller, then maybe you can create more. Okay, so you can see there, there's the the, the lady that's just been created and you know um, oh and you can see there that it's very much the same kind of image each time so um, pale 1.5 straight 1.5 so yeah really interesting what they've done to really set that up and you're thinking oh wow okay uh, Victorian age dress did it really go to the style of 215 and Hopari I would have to say that's a fail, it didn't at all. So if we go though instead and take all of that out and just do this and see what happens and we'll end up with something definitely in the in a um, street style now, it would, it would be my guess. And so the thing is, um, it takes a fair bit of playing around in Leonardo to get the shots that you want. But I'll show you something else, like um, we'll just let this produce, but I'll also show you a children's story that I created. I wrote the children's story um, and then I illustrated this children's story because when we come here to style, okay, oh, see, now, now we're getting something far more urban, but I can go in the style of a um, DC comic, right? And I'll just say, yeah, all right, we'll see what that does. And um, it's really it's really interesting, you know. So their shots, would you use those? Yeah, I think if you were trying to illustrate a certain point, um, mm. there we go. And the beauty of this is, so I've got these set to private, so I'm not sending my, none of my images are available for anyone else. I'm just keeping them for me. I kind of like that kind of guy. But I have complete copyright of all this material. It's okay. mine freely use. I can use these for commercial purposes. I can sell these images to others. Um, I can do what I like there. 
Um, there's a DC comic version of that. Is there much of a difference? So we've gone from that to that to that to this. Yes. I yeah. like the last one. Like low light. Yeah, this one over here. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the last ones that you made. Yeah. Mm, pretty cool. They are pretty cool, hey. This is a cool tool if you use it for the so right. Now, let me okay. show you what I've also done. I want a Samoan Jesus. Um, no, I want Jesus. I want Jesus actually in the in a Samoan style. And we'll just ditch the rest of that, I think. Yeah. This will be interesting. Um, now, I've created something along those lines for an evangelistic campaign that I did because I wanted to get a more contextual image of who Jesus was for some of the posters that I was creating. Yeah. And it was really interesting what it came back with. And I'm like, oh, I really like that. And, you know, I could put in, um, so, here we go. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Now, let me show you some of the early versions of that. Like oh, yeah. Sorry? No, he just needs, yeah. He got the right um, skin color. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's right. You know, there's there's some there's some other challenges there. So if I yeah. search through this and I search for my images of Jesus, right? So it's yeah. now going to show you all the images of Jesus that I've created over time, or that I've used the word Jesus in. So you know, there's these there's these ones here of the watercolors, um, trying to show what Jesus as land kind of thinking. <laughs> Jesus with children in the new earth is what I was trying to illustrate there with those ones. And um, those look like your typical adventist colors, man. Well, like, they kind of are, right? You um, know what I mean? But these are here now, and these ones here are in the yeah. style of Beatrix Potter. Yeah. Uh, so Beatrix Potter and Leonid Afromov um, to generate that, that particular image there. And I really like those colors. Come down here, and we've just got vivid watercolors. Um, down here, I've just got very different ones. So this is Jesus and disciples in boat in a storm, in the style of C215. Then I've tried here for some indigenous Aboriginal artwork, mm. trying to get some some religious work looking like that. And I played around with that for a little bit. I tried to get some Aboriginal artwork for Jesus. No. Um, then I went well, Jesus walking through the seven candlesticks. Yeah. And these are kind of interesting kind of images. I've actually ended up using some of those in, in other places. This is Jesus in the style of anime, almost. Yeah. And you could create a whole kid story with that. And I actually did. So here's a kid story that I actually used um, to tell a story. Yeah. And that's I put that together and that was my story for church. Yeah. And here's Jesus in the style of Banksy. Um, didn't do anything with that, but I just wanted to see what it was like. This is a really super cool Jesus. It's like, oh, he's almost gone gangster. Yeah. He's like a 60s, 70s, like a hippie Jesus. Yeah, it's almost like um, in the yeah. little one here with the glasses. Yeah, it's like a Magnum PI. Magnum PI Jesus. Yeah, yeah, definitely, right? Mind me vice. Yeah. You can also create coloring in pictures. So, you know, you can get cool, your own man. coloring in pictures. Um, I then went for like these here are um, first century kind of pictures. I'm trying to recreate almost realistic kind of artwork for that. Yeah. Um, down here, I, I was playing around with a particular art style and I really liked. I don't know why she popped up as part of that sequence, right? Because it was a sequence based on Jesus and she popped up. So it was a Christian series on the magnificent Jesus. Um, and there we go, and, and she popped up. There's there's some really cool versions of Jesus in a modern kind of context. Um, some of those are like, some I didn't. Yeah, it's interesting how the AI um, views Jesus as long hair. Yeah, absolutely. No beard. Because it's been stylized off the the religious imagery on the internet. Yeah, yes. That's, that's where it's getting it from. 
and these ones here, I was trying to prep up for a story of Jesus on the on the road, and he comes across blind Bartimaeus. Interestingly, these here look more like um, you know I was trying to go for the throne room scene. Yeah, yeah. And it ended up looking more like the Greek um, god of Zeus, you know, that kind of. <laughs> And yeah. here are the my Samoan pictures of Jesus, right? Oh yeah. And in the end, I went with these ones down here. I kind of like yeah, the different, yeah, yeah, the features are now showing in the bottom ones. Yeah, yeah. I like this one here. Yeah. That's uh, I like the sun behind, the sunlit, the, the way it's framed inside a frame. Yeah. Uh, this one here as well is another strong image for me. Um. So it doesn't need to be Jesus, but it's just kind of like it's a strong Samoan image in an urban setting. It could be, might not be. There we go. Um, I would, I would definitely use that on a poster. I would definitely use that on a poster. I'm not sure about some of the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones you've chosen, are the, the, the two nicely framed ones. Yeah. Um, and even how the back is. The like the other ones, his head is lit, and the one there that you're clicking so on. This was the prompt for it. Poster for a Christian campaign series focused on Jesus. The mm -hmm. title of the series is Rethink Life, Create a Poster for Samoan Audience Living in a Modern City. Oh, cool. And this is what it came back with. And I really liked that as an image. Mm -hmm. um, and all I did to use that image, um, it put the the wording on the poster. I just put it into Photoshop and remove the words and there we go kind of. So what does L K N N K mean? Well that was its way of putting rethink life. Oh okay. That's what that was. Um and I didn't know how to get it to do the actual words I wanted on there. Yeah. Because it doesn't really lend itself to that. So it's kinda of like, oh well I used it anyway. I thought this is too good an image to pass by, so I took all that out yeah. and um, created my own image from it. But yeah, that was kind of fun, right? And so there's there's no limit, you know, um, to the kinds of things. If I go here, dog, because I've created quite a few dog images, because I've got this kid story that I want to tell. Um, there's my dog images, and um, or if I think here. Um, there was a a duckling story, and so here's here's my story of the duckling going through all of these various experiences. Yeah. So you can illustrate very easily and effectively an idea that you have if you want to, and I think that's the power of Leonardo or the power of Mid Journey or some of these others. There's Dali as well is another one that's an image creator. I like Leonardo because it lets you have a free account and you can play with those images in your free account as well. How many of these have you created, mate? Oh, mate, I don't know at this stage um, quite a lot. And, you know, I've had some of the boys say to me here at uni, oh, can I, can I get your images from you? You know, and some, yeah, I'm happy to share them. You know, I'm not real yeah. precious about it. Although I want to keep my ideas that I've created private. Yeah. See here on some of these images, like this little duck here's got a spare leg. So you know, I need to I need to tighten that up a little bit with negative prompts. Um, Good. Yeah, like two beaks over on this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good, but you know, with all these tools, it's the time that you invest to using them that yeah. allows you to actually know how to use them properly. And I think as a content creator, that's the price you got to pay. It is. In any of this format, is that you gotta just press record, or you just you just gotta go and do it. There's no other, there's no other way around it. Yeah, I think you're right, Neil. That is absolutely what you've got to do. Let me just show you real quick. I guess the final result of what that might look like if you put it into a um, into a PowerPoint presentation, right? Yeah. So. Um, I'll share, I'll just make that go large, there we go. I'll share now a different screen, so we'll go to here. So this is this is a result that I put together on the weekend. So these are a combination of images that I've made, and you can see there the, um, 
what I've done with those, you know, creating these images and so on, um, what makes marriage work. And, you know, to get images like that is just really hard. Where am I going to get those images from? That looks but, pretty, that's pretty good, man. But, but, you know, these are all now in a similar style. And so there we go, you know. It, it, makes, your, it makes your presentation really pop, like, you know, the imagery that you Yeah, it does. I agree. Created is now, this, flat. Just... this wasn't the um, the exact one that I went with, um, no. but this was an early version of that that I was going to go with. Um, so anyway, there, there's a whole heap that I've got in there with this content creation. You know, I, I had this. I wanted to use four horses of the apocalypse relating to couples. So I got my own horses, four horses of the apocalypse. I want a couple's fighting, so I got couples fighting. Um, and you know, even if the AIs go wrong, and sometimes they do, you know, I think it adds to the presentation rather than distracting from it. Um, so like this one here, the image is definitely wrong. Her, her leg goes up and over, but there's two legs here. So what the heck is going on? But I just went, you know what? It's kind of all right. Yeah. So I just left that there, and then here's the one of the couple playing on the couch that I I used, and so oh, on. Good. So yeah. putting it, it all it makes your it makes your presentation stand out, like it from really the normal does. normal imagery that people would use. So in, yeah, that's right. Instead of using stock photos, I've, yeah, I've never run right. away from stock photos. I'm actually using my own created images. And I'm, I'm actually happier with the result. It looks good too. It, it suits the PowerPoint. Yeah. And um, oh, actually, this, this this one's a really bad presentation. It's I just mashed a whole lot of different stuff in there together. But there <laughs> we go. <laughs> when what, what was this presentation? Was it at a church or was it at uni? Um, no, it was at a church in Tasmania. That you uh, preached at. That I preached at, yeah, yeah. On the weekend. Let me see if I can. In the weekend, no. Yeah, uh, yeah this was one. This was the first one on the Friday night. The one on Sabbath morning was more my favourite one. So this was this was my one on Sabbath morning, tending and keeping. And all of these images here that you'll see are all generated via my app pretty good um, even that one and you can see where I've used some of the images I was showing you before I'm yes yeah and I'm kind of wanting a broad range of images That's a good one when I'm when I'm doing these because I want the um, I want kids to be able to relate to this as well I want it to be relatable to the whole church as I'm pulling this together now these images weren't these are just backgrounds that I've textures that I've used um, but back to this, you know? Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, just that hand. Like, a lot of people use this, <clears throat> that kind of stock footage for this. Yeah. But the ones that you've used through the AI tool actually adds dynamic to it. Like, it, it's like someone drew it for you, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's right. And that's the beautiful the, thing, the, right? Yeah. And so, you know, we go through and there's just all of these beautiful beautiful images even that one there it's just like all right that was the final thing that i got everyone to do at church but mm -hmm. each one of those is an image that that kind of kind of works into the pattern that i'm working and i think that's the beauty of this tool and why as a local church pastor you definitely want to get an account with leonardo um, and use the free one or if you wanted to just go that next step and say well you know what maybe maybe what i really need to do is go the next step and get a, a proper paid account. So there we go. I think today we've created two videos for digital ministry. And <laughs> before I go anywhere, I'm going to slice these in two, Neil. And I don't <laughs> thank you for your time today, bro. No worries. I wasn't expecting to um, do a video, but hey. We did together. You know, just got to adapt to what we have. <laughs>